All right, guys. So we are continuing our studies. So right now we're gonna place a bit. So we have to write new custom function. I really hope, guys, you do understand something, <laughs> because uh, see me with uh, like three years of experience, I work too fast sometimes. So you'll be you'll have to like rewatch it again and study it again. No worries. Take your time. Don't rush. As long as you study. So. Uh, let's take this button, go here to actions, click on action and search for create document. And we are going to create users bits. Uh, for the bits residence, we take NFT. No, we're not going to take this one. Uh, we need to take the bits. <laughs> and the bits. We need to cr okay. Our bits is inside of here, and we need to connect it together. So I'm gonna wrap this widget with a column. Take this container and move it inside there. I cannot do so. Why? Because I have this expansion. Uh huh like this one and I'm going to take this column and take this one out of here yeah so then I'm going to give expansion to this column oops sorry I'm going to go back it's their page Take this container and give it expansion. I cannot, uh, but what I can do is I can give expansion into here. Yes, good. And divide it like this. And for this row, I'm gonna give padding 20 or 12, 12 on both sides. Okay, so now I need to move these bits into this column. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to backend query and there is this icon, move this query to a parent widget, click and I'm going to move it to here. Yes, we have one error is here. Okay, so here now we can set up bits. So see we have bits document right now and choose reference. We need his ID number and then bit by authenticated user user reference and the amount amount what's the amount amount must be calculated by itself uh, so how we're gonna take it we have the price we have the final bit uh -huh. so we go to bits uh -uh. Let's okay, amount from variable. See, we see we have this bits document. Okay, let's do it this way. In the bits, I'm gonna say final bit. I'm gonna be integ. Oh, it's gonna be double. And then go back and when okay so we're gonna say bit final bit okay decimal mm, automatic based on the country ethereum space confirm so here we are show, showing the final bit but we need to show uh, like uh, uh, increases by 10 percent so what we're gonna do we can go to our custom coding, create a custom function, and we're gonna say uh, increase by 10%. Return is going to be double. Uh, final, I'm gonna say last price is gonna 
be double uh -huh. uh, go to code pilot increase by 10 percent the last price and let's see how it's gonna work okay copy function yes let's check it mm -hmm. so we go here and take this one say custom function final oh don't say I didn't save it don't say I didn't save it I did save it yes saved So we go to custom functions, so increase by 10%. So last price we are taking from bits. Uh, final bit. So number format is going to be decimal, not automated. Uh, okay, and we're gonna say Ethereum and space, confirm. So here we're gonna see like the final price, right? So place a bit, amount, same we're gonna take it from the uh, custom function uh, increase by 10 percent last price uh, bit and final bit confirm all right and one more thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna in set price page we're gonna add the field new nft here bits final bit same we're just gonna take this amount copy oh no we cannot copy it so we, get, we, we, we will have to take the custom function final price owner fee 2.5 customer reality 10 and price taken from the widget state and price confirm yeah that's it now we can start a new session uh, we have some no we don't have any errors so we're gonna start a new session and test it out how it's gonna work and i think i did yeah see i didn't place anything here so i'm gonna click on text uh widget state date picked date format uh, take this one and default is select a select date and time confirm yeah so it is going to work i do really hope of course but it is supposed to work so while if this one is loading let's go to place a bit oh we have it already so in the end we finished everything guys this is really good it was uh, really nice to educate you to study with you to to teach you how to work on your apps yeah and of course while this one is loading we can go to balance oh i'm gonna show you some more things you know so we go to users and let's uh, add here balance and balance is gonna be in double. So double is 2.5, 3.5, always there is a point. Integer, there are no points, like one, two, three, four, five, all right? Uh, go to balance, let's add some balance here. Uh, here we can choose authenticated user because this is your balance and choose balance. And default is zero, confirm and for this circle image we're gonna choose authenticated user and photo url if it's not going to work guys uh the images uploading images for you please write it in our community and see if uh there are any solutions for this but it's supposed to work from my side i did everything and seriously i have no idea why it's not working but shit happens you know like whenever you do something you always face into these kind of situations but later on somehow 
it starts to work uh, at the moment even though if i check this out like what's up with them guys i have no idea really yeah i have everything okay so let's create new let's try maybe it's gonna work no it's not working see and even this one uh, why it's not working properties name it uh, gaming supply and that one and we choose here and next mm -hmm. so place a bit go back go front so remember five six three five six three hmm but it's supposed to be increased by 10% maybe okay place a bit let's check and hmm. so look five six five six we open it and there's another one current bit hmm. a new problem why there are different prices and we go to home page so that one is ah that's why we didn't add any uh, functions but we we are not supposed to add any functions there the um, room and let's go here what we have here amount ah current bit the latest bit we have added huh maybe we did something wrong let's try again and work four four so i'm gonna say one so this is the amount we get from minusing this one uh, next uh-huh hmm. see we have different information here amount ah we are taking a month no why let's see okay amount supply items price count the price confirm confirm hmm. let's try uh-huh this is the big one this is the big one uh -huh. Uh -huh. see it's correct this one is correct and this one is not correct why is it 1638 so let's go to detail page and see what we did here uh, it's a bit it's the latest bit okay this is the latest bit guys okay and here so I'm gonna click on place a bit see it's changed this one but this one did not change why <laughs> because it's taking the price final because we are not updating the final bit yeah here i understand what's happening uh, i'm gonna add action and we're gonna update our document which is a bits document and choose reference then final bit is taken from here uh, final bit 
action outputs, final bit and amount. Yeah. So now we can up. So if we go back to our set price page, this price ah value 2.5 10 exchange rate is totally different here the one that is in for example owner fee double fee price and why exchange rate mm -hmm. we don't ah it's we save it in, in us dollars right <laughs> So, and plus we are using totally different function. So we need to change this function right now. That's why. So it's final price. Mm. Owner fee 2.5, customer fee 10, and price is taken from uh, price. Okay, now it's better. Now it's gonna work. So we're gonna end this session and you can test it yourself guys. Anyway, so this is our last lesson in this module. Uh, and our next modules are going to be in more different fields and more explanations, more widgets and more custom work that you would like to do. And yeah. If you do have any questions, you can always do it in our community, guys. We are always happy to answer you. All right. Uh, have a good day and bye-bye.